Joining us on the program right now from the uh, Women's Outdoor News, very pleased to have with us Barbara Baird and Brittany Starr. How you doing, ladies? Peachy. Excellent. Thank you both for coming on the program. Hey, Sam. Well, hey, it's good talking to you again, Brittany. You too. So the uh, the New York Times ran this piece, um, and, and, you know, leave, leave it to the New York Times. They'll, they'll run a piece by a hunter, uh, but only to attack... The uh, National Rifle Association. Um, Lily Raff McCalla uh, wrote a piece called I Hunt, but the NRA isn't for me. And, and Barbara, you say that uh, she gave it her best shot, but she needs to pattern her gun because she completely missed the target. I know. I think she had a squib load in there, too. <laughs> or two, really. All right. Um, so, so, so her piece is basically, look, I'm a hunter, but, but that doesn't mean I agree with what the NRA does. And the NRA is not pro-hunting. What have they done for hunters like me, right? That's right. So that's what she said, and she states it again on her blog. Okay, so yeah, she states. Um, I pointed out the obvious that the NRA does not have hunters' best interests in mind. <laughs> really? All right. So, have you? Uh, what's your response to her? Well, my response can be read at Realtree.com and Realtree Outdoor News, and um, it is that I wish that as a responsible journalist and a female hunter, she would have done her homework first and at least you know called up J.R. Robbins at at nrahuntersrights.org or, um, you know, check with the NRA first to see, you know, what are they doing for conservation efforts in this country? Absolutely. And, you know, uh, Brittany, obviously, as an outdoor woman, um, you know, th this has to bother you to, to see this sort of attitude of, I mean, it, it really, it, it, it's, it, it's, it's, it's ignorance on display, but it's also just a sheer uh, anti-NRA attitude that we're witnessing here. Um, yeah, you know, I think a lot of it is that she is, you know, a woman hunter, um, which is the part that really disappoints me um, because, you know, women hunters are on the rise, but we're still at the minority. Um, and, and a lot of us work really hard to, you know, be taken seriously in the industry. And, um, you know, I feel like we really need to stick together um, and support each other on things. So, it, you know, it's disappointing to see um someone that just kind of brought that whole thing down so um i've been kind of checking out some statistics online and um i think it's funny because you know she basically alludes um that none of the nra members are hunters and it's actually completely incorrect um, 80% of NRA members are hunters, so um, there's just definitely a lot of uh, falsities that she has in her story. Well, absolutely, and you know, again, I mean, we've talked about uh, the work that the NRA has done over the years. Ken Robinson was even talking about this at the uh, NRA annual meeting. You know, there's been a lot of uh, bureaucratic red tape put in place around the country, uh, and, you know, it's become uh, difficult for uh, people to become new hunters. And I would think that no matter, you know, again, no matter what your attitude is, uh, Lily Raph McCullough should want to have more women get out and take to the field. But because of all of the bureaucratic hoops and hurdles and the uh, regulations that you're afraid of, you know, running afoul of, you don't want to become an accidental felon uh, because, you, you know, you didn't follow all of the uh, proper procedures set forth by the uh, Fish and Game Departments. You know, there are people who I think are, are just afraid to, uh, to try it out. Well, that's that's probably true. That's probably true. But one thing that concerns me, though, is just um, a lot of people who are in the NRA don't realize that there's this hunting arm of the NRA because I've spoken to some life members in the past couple of days, and I'll tell them about, um, you know, huntingrights.org, and I'll go, really? And so I'm beginning to wonder if maybe um, the NRA needs to reach out a little bit more, too. This is constructive criticism only, but, you know, maybe that's a possibility. Maybe we aren't really maybe you know we have these great programs in pay, place and we actively work to promote hunting access and um and other things and but people maybe people don't know about it maybe they don't think it's for them because of that yeah you know i, I you, you may be right and, and you're right i mean there are a lot of great programs out there uh, you you write about the uh, women on target program that uh you know offers uh, women the opportunity to get out and hunt if they've never done it before or if they want to go out with uh, you know, other women. And I think programs like that are, are fantastic. But again, uh, you know, you've got to promote it. You've got to make sure that people are aware of this. I, you know, honestly, though, after reading Lily Ralph McCullough's piece, 
I mean, I think Barbara you and, and Brittany, you could point all of these things out to her. But again, I, I think she is just I don't th I think there's this disconnect there between the rights that she wants to exercise uh, and the organization that exists to protect those rights. Oh, that's right. She would be willing to take away stand your ground across the country. In other words, she would be willing to take away rights from women to protect themselves and their families so that she as long as she can have the gun that she wants. Yeah, and you know, and, and that that you know that that's the, uh, the 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 freeloading attitude I think that we see. Exactly. And, uh, that's what we can't have this year. Listen, uh, ladies. Unfortunately, we are almost out of time. But Barbara and Brittany, thank you both for coming on the program. Look forward to doing it again, and uh, have a good week. Thanks, Cam. Thanks, Cam.